Hey guys, um, yeah, well I haven't uh, done a reflection video in a while, um, and oh, I've had a, a long uh, day um, back to like orientation and everything here uh, down at the conservatory starting up my third year, my third and final year, and yeah, I feel like I would like to, I don't know, do a video. I'm feeling very tired right now. Um, I haven't really been feeling very connected to <clears throat> the interviews lately. Um, I guess this is just kind of like a video journal. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I often feel like I have to be a certain way uh, to be able to attract people to do interviews. Um, but lately, really, since I've gotten back from my vacation, I have been uh, just, I haven't been pushing my, pushing myself onto people as much, I don't think. I think I've been uh, just letting kind of my calmer presence um, be there for people. And um, yesterday I had a, an interview where I just was talking to a guy and it was going really slowly and he just left during the middle of my recording and I was kind of bummed by it, I guess. Yeah, I really don't have much to say, actually. I don't even know why I'm doing this recording in the first place. Um, I guess just because I, I would like to do a video. Been watching Survivor a lot lately. <clears throat> I'm on season uh, 27, I'm going into season 27 now. I've been binging it. Um, I skipped a bunch of seasons, though, the ones that were ranked badly. Um, I decided to skip. And, yeah. I don't really have too much to say. I think I, I, think I want to get up early tomorrow and go running. <laughs> I haven't been on a good run in a while. I like to do some writing. And, yeah. I guess we just have these days, you know, where we just going, <clears throat> you know. That's my thought. I'd really like to buy some more. Ravens hats, because this one is getting a little run down. <clears throat> also, another aspect of this channel has been, you know, talking to family and friends, and I have not been. Uh, yeah, come on in. What's going on? Have the D twenty. Uh, the D the twenty sided die. Oh, I do. Yes. Thank you. Good. And uh, I haven't really been doing those uh, too often lately. Yeah, I guess life just kind of gets ahead of you sometimes, you know? Part of me wonders just how painful it is to sit in silence watching this, you know, <clears throat> someone like watching, thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to watch this whole thing. This guy's just pausing. I guess that's what happens when you get lost in thought or... Yeah. 
The thing is that there's nothing inherently wrong with that, though. You know, there's nothing inherently wrong with being quiet, <laughs> you know, <laughs> listening, listening to your own thoughts, I guess. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. Hmm. So during my orientation today, um, I don't know, it was just really good to see my ensemble mates, you know, that was uh, I'm just such a talented group of people that are here with me, you know, that I'm here with. They're all superheroes in a way. They all have a special skill. Some are just very emotionally intelligent. Some are workaholics, like, but in an amazing way, in an amazing, amazingly productive way. I just wish some of them love themselves a little more, you know? <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much where I am with that. Hmm. I'll turn my different, <coughs> I have different colors here. Of, uh, like a multicolored light system in my room. I see a lot of people on Omega with those, the uh, LED lights and stuff. Yeah. Where the heck are we all going in life, man? <laughs> Where are we all going? Yeah, it's like so many of us are just like racing to get money or get a career or And as I'm getting older, I, I'm actually becoming less concerned about career, like an idea of a career, and more concerned about like, like how could I just remain um, as present in what's going on as possible, you know? Because I think as you get older, you you become more distracted with the things that society says are important, right? Money, career, a family, prestige, power, influence. I mean, I, I would love more influence, you know? I think with influence, I could really help to do a lot of good things in this world. I think I do already have influence, you know, in my community. And I think I do a decent job. Yeah. I'm nervous to actually put this online because this is probably the most boring video that I've done yet. I think I'm afraid for the world to see me as boring, but that's not true because I'm not boring. That's such a, that's a label. That's a label I have for myself sometimes. That's so not, no one is any one thing, you know? I am present. <laughs> and actually sometimes, I think I'm pretty peaceful lately. I'm becoming way less competitive, which is awesome. Slowly but surely. Because we're all on, all our, on our own journeys. We're all, all on our own paths, doing different things, you know. And you know what? So what if someone watches this and thinks, oh, this guy's boring? That's really... 
just them commenting on and reflecting on their own issues with being present in the in this moment. You know, I have been enjoying going on YouTube and listening to Eckhart Tolle's guided meditations. Um, I just sit there and listen, you know. I'm very grateful, very thankful for my life. I have a lot of things I want to read. I need to read A Midsummer Night's Dream. I want to read a few plays for showcase scenes that I need to be preparing for this semester. Yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I guess something that, that, that's been on my mind too is like how everything always needs to be for money, always, things always need to like, things always need to be produced. Things always need to be. I wonder what it'd be like to just live on a farm, travel from place to place, living on a farm for my entire life. I mean, traveling, meeting people, interviewing them, understanding, being present, understanding other people's point of view. It's like I already, I mean, I went to, I went to a school where 21% of the kids that went to the school were from the top 1% of the richest households in America. <laughs> so I understand how the rich live. I understand how the mindset is of the rich. I think a lot of people understand it because it's so revered in like media and, you know, in media and also, you know, in movies and stuff, the lives of celebrities. And I mean, there's, there's, I mean, of course we don't under, I don't, you know, I don't understand many very specific particular lives, points of view. But generally I understand the, the viewpoint of the privileged. Because I, you know, I am very much so part of that group. <clears throat> Went to school with them, you know. And, and myself like a, you know, white guy. Yeah, I just, there's so many interesting things to do. But I'm not wasting my time. No. I think I, part of me thinks I am by hanging out, you know, like I watched an, two hours of Survivor today. <laughs> Is that time better spent doing something else? But that's just a habitual mindset. I enjoy it. I mean, I'm making money, I'm doing my thing, you know. <clears throat> I'm doing interviews most days. Hmm. Well, guys, I mean, thank you for, I mean, I'm not saying anything really that interesting right now. I'm not doing anything interesting right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything to say.
I hope you guys are all well. I don't have much to say, but I do hope you're all well. I do hope that you're treating others well. And I hope that you're thinking Hmm. I guess I, I, I hope that you are all remaining as present as possible in your lives and listening, breathing. Take a breath if you're holding your breath or if you're angry or, hmm. I mean, that's what I'm doing, right? But that yawn was. Yeah, check out a book, read a book. Read a book you like. I hung out with some friends tonight doing, uh, preparing for a Dungeons and Dragons game in the near future, doing my character sheet. It's just great, you know? You know they care so much about the game and I'm drawn in by their enthusiasm, and I love storytelling, too. Yeah. You know, I would really like to interview some kind of uh, some YouTubers out there, some well-known YouTubers, and just, like, talk to them. Let's get to know them. Hear their story, you know. Okay, well, I think this is it. Um, and next time I swear I will have something a little more entertaining than just sitting here and not saying anything, you know. Okay. Much love to all of you and to your families. Bye.